Good morning to everyone, respected principal, teachers and my dear friends. Today I am here before you to deliver a speech on World Ozone Day. September 16 was designated by the United Nations General Assembly as the International Day for the Preservation of Ozone Layer. Ozone is a trioxygen inorganic molecule having pale blue color and pungent smell. Its formula is O3 which means trioxygen. It is not only a molecule having pungent smell, it is a protective layer around the earth. The layer which protects the earth from different hazardous gases and attack of bursting stars in space. Scientists proved that fission reactions are continuously taking place in sun and other stars. If the chemical gases and other reaction products directly reach to the earth, it will be very dangerous for the safety and survival of the earth. Mainly, ozone layer protects the earth from ultraviolet rays which are very hazardous for the earth. Ozone is therefore a very protective layer for earth. But unfortunately, due to exceeded use of chlorofluorocarbons in our daily life, the main source of chlorofluorocarbons are refrigerators and air conditioners. These chlorofluorocarbons are responsible for gradual depletion of ozone layer. Scientists have observed a hole in ozone layer which alarming for the world. So, to create awareness and to acquire environmental friendly techniques to reduce the use of chlorofluorocarbons, UN General Assembly proposed to celebrate World Ozone Day. This decision was taken in 1994 and since then World Ozone Day is celebrated every year on 16th September. This day is celebrated worldwide on national and international levels. Governments of different countries conduct awareness programs and ceremonies to spread the use of environmental friendly and ozone protective products. Different programs are also conducted in schools and colleges to teach young ones how to protect our world. Different activities are managed by the teachers to develop awareness in students so they can learn the use of environmental friendly and awesome protective techniques. Scientists and researchers proved that use of hydrofluorocarbons in place of chlorofluorocarbons is less dangerous. According to a research, hydrofluorocarbons have zero ozone depletion potential. Scientists have also observed that ozone depletion level has been lowering since the use of hydrofluorocarbons instead of chlorofluorocarbons. So, let us join our hands to save ozone layer. Earth without ozone is like a house without a roof. Thank you. Have a nice day.